Hola a todos y bienvenido a mi canal. Welcome back to you guys um, and to everybody that's new here. Welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a um, makeup collection. I kind of just kind of put my mouth on it. But I'm going to be doing a makeup collection, updated makeup collection 2017, whatever you want to call it. I don't think I've ever done a makeup collection on my channel though, so this should be interesting. Most of my makeup products I have purchased at the dollar store. I would say probably 90% of them come from the dollar store besides a couple of products that I will tell you guys about that I did not get from the Dollar Tree. So anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right on in. I do not like to pay a lot of money for my makeup, so I think I built a pretty good collection for very, very cheap prices. So I'm going to start out with makeup brushes and tools. First, I have my eyelash curler. This I got a really long time ago at Target. This is the e.l.f. Um, eyelash curler. I don't really use this very often. Um, I don't really feel like I need to use it. My eyelashes are pretty curly on their own, but sometimes I do like to curl them, so I do have one just in case I need it, and I don't know what happened to the replacement pad, but that's okay. So this was a dollar, I believe, at Target. Also, for like blending, I have this little blending sponge. This is the Keitel, I think that's how you pronounce it, beauty sponge, and I got this off of Amazon. It's only 99 cents with free shipping, so I thought you really can't beat that, and this is actually one of the best. I really, really like this. It's very soft, it gets really, really big when you wet it, and it blends out really beautifully. I found out about this via It's My Ray Ray's channel, and I'll leave the link down below. She did do a video of this comparing this to the regular Beauty Blender, and it did perform pretty well, so I decided to buy it. And I'm really glad that I did. I've had it for months now, and it still looks really good. You can see it's held up really, really well, so I have that. So then I have these brushes. So first I have an e.l.f. travel brush. This was a free gift with purchase, so I don't know how much this actually costs, but... Um, this is basically what the brush looks like and it's just a retractable travel brush and it's just like for powder so I think that this is a really nice thing to have and like I said it was a free gift so yeah I have these pink brushes that came in a set that I got for my birthday last year so I have this big uh, brush these are actually really soft too and this is a powder brush and it's just it was it's actually pink on the tips like the wet and wild brushes but um, it has powder on it so that's why it's brown and I have this brush which I use for my eyebrows this is just like a I don't even know what you would call this but I use this for my eyebrows and then I have an eyebrow brush and comb set and then I have this random color makes blush brush from Dollar Tree a blush brush um, I think this also is a powder brush but I just kind of have it it's just an extra powder brush to have and I have this elf brush I've had this for so many years you can see it has tape around it because I refuse to buy another one until it actually breaks and this is the elf professional blending eye brush this is what that looks like and I have three of the wet and wild brushes and this one I believe is called the small eyeshadow brush and this one is complete trash I do not like it I used it to apply the eyeshadow on my lower lash line today but for the upper trying to put it on your lid trying to pack eyeshadow on no, um, the only thing I can find it use for is applying it to my lower lash line, but I would not recommend this brush. It did not work for me. This is the um, crease brush, and this is amazing. I was really, really astounded at this. This is really, really soft, and it's very, very spread apart, so it's really, really easy to kind of blend out. It's not very, very densely packed, so in my opinion, that makes for a better blending crease brush. And then I have this one, which is a large eyeshadow brush, which does work very well. As well so those are my brushes I know that I don't really have a lot but I don't really feel like I need too much I'm able to create really good looks with what I have so those are my brushes so let's see now I'm gonna go ahead and move into eyeshadow because this is the biggest part of my collection I did own way more eyeshadow palettes than this but now these are how many eyeshadow palettes I own I think I own 10 so I think that's good enough and these are really tiny ones so let's just go ahead and get started so first I have two of the LA Colors Matte Eyeshadows. I use these in every single look. The one that I get the most use out of is in the shade CEM481 Mattifying. This is what that looks like. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. These two colors up here are just um, pink and white. And I don't really, well not white, but it's like a cream color. And I don't really use those two. And then I have a dark brown and a lighter brown, which this one I use for my transition shade. And this is obviously just a darker like crease color. So I really do get a lot of use out of this palette. And then for this one, it's basically the same thing. This is NC M483 Matterific, and this is just like more smoky gray tone. So I use this when I want to do a smoky eye look. Also not featured here is my icing palette, but I don't really use that like that. But if you want to see, I'll put a picture somewhere here, and it's just a whole bunch of eyeshadows and other stuff. It's like a little makeup kit. I have this palette, which I'm probably going to end up getting rid of. This is a Color Mates palette, and this just has some neutral shades, two lip glosses, and two glitters. I don't use the lip gloss or the glitters and the neutral shades. I have tons of colors already like this, so I'm probably going to end up getting rid of that. 
after the video. I have this little thing. I got this at, okay, so these, by the way, I did get at Dollar Tree. Forgot to mention that. This one I found at my thrift store for a dollar, and this is the e.l.f. palette in Necessary Nudes. I'm not sure what the original price of this is, but I was able to get it for a dollar. So this is what it looks like. I'm trying to see if I can not blind you guys, but there's what that looks like. And I think this would be really, really good to travel with, so I just decided to go ahead and pick this up. I have two of the LA Colors Little Black Book of Eyeshadows. I don't even think they make these shades anymore. I know that they still make the Little Black Books, but I haven't seen these two um, color combinations. So I have this one, which is a natural, and this just has a bunch of like shimmery, um, neutral kind of colors. And then I have this one, which is in Glam, and this just has pink, purple, and green. I did use the bottom row to do my eye look today, if you guys are interested. So you can see that the colors really do work. They are really nice and pigmented, and I do enjoy using these. I have two of the little LA Color 6 Color Eyeshadow Palettes. I have one in BEP 433 Fling, and this one you guys can see just has um, blue and purple. I don't really get a lot of use out of this, surprisingly, because the shadows are okay. They're not extra, extra pigmented like normal LA Color shadows are. Um, I don't know. This one's just okay. I have the one in BE Pin, BEP 410 Dreamy, and this one I absolutely love. I've gotten so much use out of this. I've had it for a while. I've done so many different looks with this. The eyeshadows are so, like, buttery and creamy in this one, and I just really, really like it. And this is the old one, I think, because they changed over to this new packaging, and I just, this one is the older one, and I really think that it worked really well. So this is just a bunch of different pink tones. Then I have the NYC Individual Eyes. Don't mind how disgusting this looks over here. When you use the black eyeshadow, it gets all over here, which is just ridiculous. But this is the Individual Eyes palette in 941 Smoky Browns. I got all these palettes from the Dollar Tree, except for the e.l.f. one. But this I got at Dollar Tree as well, and this just has... A gray, brown, purple, and a black, like a shimmery black shade. And I hate it because this is like a illuminator and this is an eyeshadow primer. And this black one, when you dip your brush in there, it has a lot of fallout and it just gets all over the place. So I don't like that about that. But it is a pretty good palette and the shadows are pigmented. And then I have this Beauty Treats palette that I got at Five Below for $2. And this is just a bunch of matte, bright colors. This was a hot pink and this was a white. And there's a big, huge plane flying over right now, so I'm really sorry about that. But these... um. This is the colors that come in this palette, and I love it. What more can I say? I love bright eyeshadows like this. I love neon eyeshadow. You guys know that. I love wearing color. When I am going to put on eyeshadow, I try to put just a little bit of color in with it. So I really, really love this palette. Really nice. I've been able to make some really, really good looks with this. The only thing I wish this has was a wish this had was a bright orange because I've been searching for a really good bright orange and I haven't been able to find one. So if this palette had a bright orange instead of having two black, I think that would be perfect. So yeah. So those are all my eyeshadow palettes. So now I'm going to move on to actual eye, other eye products. So just grab them all. So for mascara, I have the LA Colors Mascara. This is what it looks like. And this is the wand. You can get this at Dollar Tree. I love this one. I was using the Wet n Wild one in the blue tube, the Mega, it was something. I can't remember now, but it was in a blue tube that came to Dollar Tree, and I like this one much better. My eyelashes don't really need a lot of different, you know, it doesn't need a lot of volume, doesn't need a lot of length, it just needs a very simple mascara, so I like to just use something really simple, and this is perfect for me. I also have the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner, and I've actually recently been seeing that a lot of YouTubers have been, like, talking about whether eyeliner is matte or glossy, and I've never actually thought about that. Like, when I put on eyeliner, I don't think, is this going to be matte? Like, I don't, I don't know. And this is a little bit satiny, but I don't really mind. It's really great. I love the brush on it. It goes on really well. This is the first eyeliner I ever bought, and I've been using it ever since. So I really like that one. Again, both from Dollar Tree. I got two. I have two of the e.l.f. eyeshadow primers. I used to be able to find these at Dollar Tree, but then they upped the price to $2. So I usually get these at Walmart or Target. I was able to find one of them at the thrift store for a dollar so I just have two now and I, I actually have to use that because I do have oily eyelids so eyeshadow primer is a must for me this is the clean color framiest lash and brow clear lash and brow mascara I got this off of shopmissa.com for one dollar don't really use this but I guess it's nice to have I have three wet n wild color icon eyeliners this one is in Seema brown now I got this one at Dollar Tree and then these two I think I either got at Dollar Tree or CVS but it, or Walgreens I mean but it doesn't matter because they're a dollar basically everywhere this one is in dark brown and this one's in black 
I used to use these to do my eyebrows until I found out about brow pomades and I started using those and they're so much easier to use than pencils for me, in my opinion. And I have two glitter eyeliners and I do use these as actual eyeliners as well as when I have the glitter all over my lid, this is what I used to do that. And this is my little secret trick because these do not crease ever and they stay on all day because they actually set in place, which is awesome because you guys know glitter can get everywhere if it doesn't set in place. So these I got off of ShopMissA.com for a dollar a piece. I have it in silver and gold and every time I've gone on there to try to buy more, they're always sold out. So hopefully when I go on there next time, I'll be able to purchase some more of these because these were really awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys my few lip products. I do have about like 10 lip glosses and I'm going to go ahead and link the video down below where I show my lip glosses. And that was the NYC um, lip gloss video where I did swatches and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that down below if you guys want to check that out. So I have this Beauty Treat Sugar Lip Scrub and this is in Watermelon. I got this off of Shop Miss A. I'm not really sure if this counts as makeup, but I'm going to show it anyway. So yeah, I got this off of Shop Miss A for a dollar. I have the e.l.f. Exfoliator in clear. I think I paid about three dollars for this if I'm not mistaken I think this is about three dollars and this is what it looks like. I've used it quite a bit. So I only have like that much left And I have the elf lipstick in blackout. I believe this was also three dollars. It's a moisturizing lipstick I know it looks kind of jacked up, but it, it still works. So um, this is just a black lipstick the only actual lipstick that I have and then I have this elf lip balm with SPF 15 in the shade pink and this one was a free gift with purchase. I really don't like this color on me. It just, it doesn't do anything for me. Ooh, it smells good, but I don't really like this shade on me, so I don't really ever use this. So then I have a bunch of other random eye products. I have these Wet n Wild Pan Glitters. Do not like these. I'm probably gonna end up getting rid of them after the video because they crease so bad on your eyes. Like you have them on for one minute and then you open up your eye and you see a big crease. And it just, it's not even like a cute crease. Like it just, Sometimes too, when your eyeshadow creases, it doesn't look half bad, but this looks horrible when it creases. It just, I don't like it. I do not like it at all. So I'm not going to um, continue to use these. I would not recommend them because they do crease and the colors, they're not even all that pigmented. Like I can get better pigmentation out of my glitter eyeliners than I can with these. So it's not even worth it anyway. So don't like those. I also have these Maybelline Dream Mousse eyeshadows from a really long time ago. Not sure if I ever showed these on my channel, but I still have three of them. I had some more, but I don't own them anymore. So I have this one, and this is like a gold color. And these are just the mousse eyeshadows, so they're kind of hard to use. Like, you put your finger in, and I don't know. They're just, eh, I don't really like them. I have this one. This is a bronze shade. And I have this green one. Which I actually should have used this in my eye makeup today. It would have been really pretty, but I didn't. So now I'm going to go ahead and move into blushes because I don't have that many. I only have three. So I have two of the Color Me uh, blushes. And this one is in Sun Kissed Tan. This is like my perfect blush shade. This is like the color my cheeks actually get when I'm blushing. So there is that color. I really, really like this one. It's really natural looking on me and just really pretty. And then I have this one, which is in Mauve Alus. And this one is a little bit more of a bright color this is like a berry blush shade and then I have a physician formula blush and this is in pink organics I do not like this blush because it comes out looking really ashy on me because it's too light but I do keep it because on the back it has a mirror and a little brush and how cute is this little brush you guys it's so cute like even if I was traveling I could use this to put powder on like I could use this for anything because it's just like so tiny but it still I think would work for something like that so that's why I keep this little compact. Then I have three different brow products. So I have the e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in Espresso. I got this at my local thrift store for $1. And this one is okay. Um, it gives me that really, really, like, this makes your brows look really, really sharp and striking and on point. So, yeah. I have my Forever 21 Brow Powder Duo in Dark Cocoa. This is my favorite brow product because I'm wearing it today. And it does define your eyebrows, but it still, in my opinion, has my eyebrows looking rather natural, like it's not too much. So this is what that looks like, and it just has the powder and the pomade on the other side. And this was $4 at Forever 21, so yeah, probably the most expensive thing on this in this video that I bought, because I'm really, really cheap with makeup, but this was worth every, this was worth every single penny because it does work, and it's really, really nice. And then I have this e.l.f. kit, which is in dark, and I also got this at my 
thrift store for one dollar so this just has the pomade and the uh powder it basically looks exactly like the forever 21 um pomade except the forever 21 one is it's actually darker than this one like this one's lighter than the forever 21 brow pomade little thing so i don't know if i'm gonna like this because i actually think the color of the forever 21 is perfect and that's one of the reasons why i love it so much and the ease of application it's just really really good so then i have two like kind of standalone items these are highlighters and bronzers so i have the elf baked highlighter and bronzer in the shade bronze glow i got this as a free gift and this is what it looks like. So you get the highlighter on this side and the bronzer on this side. Honestly, I use the bronzer as a highlighter because I like a very subtle highlight if I'm going to do anything because I don't really do a lot of face makeup. But if I am going to use it, I like it to be really, really subtle. And this is like my skin tone, so it makes it look really, really nice and natural, like a natural glow, not too much. Then I have this Physicians Formula Organic Wear bronzing veil and this is in the shade medium skin and this is actually matte so it's like a foundation powder for me because you can see it's my exact skin tone like the colors that I am in the summertime so I don't use this as a bronzer or anything I use it as a foundation powder um, it has decent pigmentation as well which is why it's you know good as a foundation powder but as a bronzer it's my skin tone so it's not going to bronze up anything but I do have it in that category just because that's its official name so moving on I'm going to go into face powders foundations primers stuff like that so first things first, I have this e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, and this is in the shade Clear. It doesn't really have a shade, but this works pretty good. I got it in Hydrating because my the skin on my face is dry, so I like to use that. And then moving into the powders, I have the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Medium Dark. Most of the time, I'm a powder-only type of person. I don't like to have a lot of... Um, product on my face. I don't need a lot of coverage. This is my skin without any makeup. I do have a lot of translucent powder, but I don't have on any foundation or blush or highlight or anything like that. So I really like my skin when it's like this. So I try to not really get a lot of products that have a lot of coverage. So this is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in Medium Dark, like I said, and this is basically my skin tone again during the summertime. So I really, really like this. This is decent. It does make me look a little red though. It's a little bit too red for me, which is my only con, but I can make it work. I have the LA Colors Powder in BPP322 Tan. This is what this looks like. This is like an all year round type of shade. Like I can make this work all year if I really had to. So that's that. I'm going to kind of see if I can get this to close up on camera. I also have the L'Oreal Visual Powder in Transparency Deep. And I really, really like this. I actually purchased this at uh, Dollar Tree a really, really long time ago. And I really, really like these. Um, I have this one. And this one I got off of elf.com. This was like a dollar. And let's see. Yeah. So these are the L'Oreal Visual Powders and Transparent Seep. These were a dollar at Dollar Tree. I absolutely love these. Did you guys just see my dad walk in? Sorry. Um, I, actually, I actually really, really love these. This is like my favorite pressed powder. I'm wearing it today. It doesn't mattify me too much. I just put this on when I just want to be wearing something just so that my face doesn't get too shiny. Not that I really care about that because I like my face to have a glow. I do not like to look matte. So that's another thing. So I really, really like this powder. I also use this sometimes to blend out eyeshadows because it's transparent. So it's just a nice blending powder. And that probably doesn't make sense. But that's what I do um, with my eyeshadow. But Love, love, love this, but I can't buy it anymore because it's, I believe it's discontinued. I'm not really sure, but I found it at Dollar Tree and I love it. I've been trying to search for something that's similar to this. And I have, for translucent powder, I also have this e.l.f. Uh, travel translucent powder compact thing and this is what that looks like and I'm interested to try this out to see if it's similar to the L'Oreal visual because if it is then now I have something I can actually continue to repurchase and stuff like that instead of just you know not having anything else I am looking for another good translucent powder so I'm going to try this one out I got this at my thrift store for a dollar so I'm going to see if um, I like that so moving into foundations I have three this one I got at my thrift store for two dollars this is the elf uh, foundation and this is in buff and this actually is, I know my, my door just flew open, you guys, I'm sorry. But this actually is not, um, this is not one of my favorites. I don't really like it. First of all, it's not even that the color is too light because I could easily go to the store and actually purchase this foundation and get it in a darker color. But I don't like it because of the smell. The smell really bothers me and that's the only reason why I wouldn't purchase my actual shade in this foundation because of the smell. So I'm probably going to end up getting rid of this pretty soon because I, I do not like the smell of this. It really, it really bothers me. Then I have the e.l.f. foundation serum, and this is in the shade medium dark. I got this off of e.l.f.com. This was $8. This was really expensive. But 
this is a really really good product i really would recommend this this is more like a tinted moisturizer but i use this when i want to put something on my face but i don't want a lot of coverage this is really nice it does have spf 25 in it and i really really do enjoy this particular um foundation type of product i also have the la colors liquid makeup this is another really good one it's similar to the elf one it doesn't really offer a lot of coverage it's more like a tinted moisturizer but i do really really enjoy it and this is in the shade blm 313 tan and yeah i really really do like it so that is all of my makeup that's my entire makeup collection this did take me 20 minutes to film which is kind of ridiculous but that's my entire makeup collection oh i forgot one product <laughs> i forgot the elf makeup mist inside because this is kind of all off on its own i do use this i do like it it is pretty good so finally that is my entire makeup collection i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you guys thought so yeah adios y hasta luego see you guys later bye guys